Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for the privilege to be taught, you know, by your spirit, how to pray effectively, even as Jesus taught his disciples. Lord, we ask that in this very edition that we're considering today, you will teach us, O oh Lord, how to do your will even on the earth and to pray that your will also will be done on the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I welcome you to our ninth edition on the prayer life of the disciple. And specifically, we're going to be focusing on that will be done on the earth. As Jesus began to teach the disciples in Matthew chapter 6, beginning from verse 9, you know how to pray effectively. He said, when you pray, say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. And the very next thing he said is, thy will be done on the earth, even as it is done in heaven. Amen. So Jesus taught the disciples to pray that the will of God will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Amen. <clears throat> now, this suggests that the will of God in heaven is obviously at variance, you know, with what is being done by the sons of men on the earth. Otherwise, Jesus will not say that you should pray that will be done on the earth as it is done in heaven. So, so there is a contrast between the will of God, which is being implemented in heaven, and that which is being done, you know, by the sons of men on the earth. And therefore, it says you should pray that this will be done on earth, even as it is done, you know, in heaven. Amen. Praise God. Now, if Jesus again says that the will be done on the earth, even as it is done in heaven, it means that it means that heaven is it is heaven that initiates the will of God even to be done on the earth. In other words, you just you don't take upon yourself to do anything all in the name of the Lord on the earth. No, it's got to be initiated by God Himself. Amen. God takes the decision. God takes pre preeminence. God moves before you begin to move. Amen. Now let's look at it again. He says, "Thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven." It means God's will is being done in heaven, and it as it is being done in heaven and revealed to you, then you should do the same on the earth. Otherwise, you will be doing what is contrary to the will of God. You've got to know the will of God. You've got to know what is being done in heaven at any point in time. And then you do the same thing, you know, on the earth. And I believe that's one of the reasons why Jesus said in the book of John, as I see my father, so I do also. It is whatsoever Jesus saw the father doing, you know, that he did. In other words, he allowed the father to take the initiative. The father was the one who took the initiative and then as according to what Jesus saw the father doing, that was precisely what he did. And that's the reason why you will see that none of the miracles of Jesus Christ failed. None of his prayers failed. God answered all of his prayers because he saw the father take the move and then he followed suit. It is not for you to take the move and then the father will follow suit. Amen. Praise God. <clears throat> Now, God's ways are obviously not our ways, and his will is obviously not our will. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, say the Lord. Your know, God's ways are not our ways, his will is not also our will. So, as a disciple, it is your responsibility, it is your duty to align your will with the will of God. Amen. And you can only align your will with the will of God when you know his will. If you don't know his will, there is no way in which you can align his, your will with his will. In fact, you will be thinking that your will is the will of God. Your will is not the will of God. God has his will, you have your will. God has his ways, you have your ways. God has his thoughts, you have your thoughts. Our thoughts, our ways, our wills, they are at variance with those of God. And so it is our duty as believers, people who want their prayers to be effective, you know, first of all, to know what is being done, what the will of God is, and then you take cue, you know, from that. Amen. Now, if you look at Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7, the Bible says, Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book, it is written for me to do thy will, O God. <clears throat> now, what basically this suggests is that Jesus jettisoned his will in order to do the will of the Father. He subsumed his will under the will of the Father. And that is what God wants us to do by this scripture that Jesus taught us how to pray. That will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Your will is at variance with God. Your flesh, you want to do something that is different from what God wants done. But you've got to consciously subsume your will, subsume your thought, subsume your actions, your words, your thought. You know, what's going on inside of you, you know, under the will of God, just as Jesus did. I want to read that scripture again. Hebrews 10 verse 7, Jesus said, Then said I, Lo, 
I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me to do the will of God. Amen. Praise God. Now, the book that is referred to in this, in the, in, in this particular scripture that we read in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7, the book is with the Father. And you see that in Revelation chapter 5, verse 1, where the Father said, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven lips so god the father here had this book you know on his right hand and the will of the father for jesus christ is contained in this book and what is the will of the father the will of the father for jesus is that he would die for the sins of the world and jesus knew it and he embraced it amen hallelujah so you see as a believer you've got to know the will of god and the will of god the general will of god is contained in the word of god the general will of God for you, for the world, for your family, for everything you can think about on the earth is contained, you know, even in the Bible. But the specific will of God, you know, is in the mind of the Holy Spirit. And it's as you walk, you know, close to the Holy Spirit, you know, that the Holy Spirit, you know, is able to reveal this to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Now, let's look at some of the will of God as contained in Scripture. It is the will of God for the single to be married. It is not the will of God for the married to divorce. That is not the will of God because there is no divorce in heaven. Once you're in heaven, you're into a relationship with God, you're not going to break that relationship, you know, for life. Amen. So it is the will of God that the single should be married. It is not the will of God that the, that the marriage should be divorced. It is the will of God that the sick should be healed. It is the will of God that the sinner should be saved. It is the will of God you know, that those that are in captivity, you know, should be set free. It is the will of God that the poor should be rich. Amen. Glory to God. It is also the will of God that righteousness should prevail in your life and even on the earth. It is the will of God that should be righteousness in our country, in our nation, in our communities. And it is the will of God that we should live righteously and that the fear of God, you know, should reign supreme in our life. And that joy and peace in you and in the society are also part of the will of God. So Jesus said, when you pray, that you should pray that there will be done on the earth as it is done in heaven. You've got to know the will of God and then embrace this will of God and let it be part and parcel of your life. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We ask, Lord, that you will enable us by your spirit to know your general and your specific will. Let your spirit reveal your specific will unto us. And as you reveal this unto us, O Lord, help us to embrace your will and to do your will on the earth as it is done in heaven so that our prayers will be effective in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.